Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by osmosis in terms of water potential. OK, now many students find osmosis to be a tricky topic. The key idea you need to remember is that osmosis is simply the diffusion of water molecules. And we looked at diffusion in a recent video. If you haven't watched that video, then I'd recommend that you watch it now. Remember that diffusion is the net or overall movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. In other words, down the concentration gradient. And remember that diffusion is a passive process. This means that diffusion does not require metabolic energy. In other words, the energy released by respiration. I'm showing you here a partially permeable membrane. So for example, this could be the membrane around a cell. On the left hand side, we've got pure water. And on the right hand side, we've got a solution. In other words, a solute dissolved in water. And at this stage, it's not important what the solute is. Now, as we said, the membrane is partially permeable. So the water molecules can pass freely across the membrane, but the solute molecules cannot. This means that the solute molecules have got to stay on the right hand side of the membrane. So as you can see on the left hand side of the membrane, we've got a high concentration of water molecules. And on the right hand side of the membrane, we've got a lower concentration of water molecules. So this means that water molecules will diffuse from the left hand side to the right hand side like this. And this diffusion of water is called osmosis. So as you can see, osmosis is simply the diffusion of water molecules. And that means that osmosis is a passive process. In other words, it does not require any metabolic energy. OK, now when scientists describe osmosis, they use the definition that I'm showing you here. This is the definition that you need to learn and use in your exam. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential through a partially or selectively permeable membrane. OK, so in this definition, we're referring to water potential. So let's take a look at what that means. If we go back to our diagram, we can see that we've got water molecules on both sides of the membrane. These water molecules are colliding with the membrane. And these collisions mean that the water molecules apply a pressure to the membrane. Scientists call this pressure the water potential. And water potential has the symbol psi. Because water potential is a measure of pressure, it has the unit kilopascal. Now, as we've seen, the left hand side of the membrane has more water molecules than the right hand side. So this means that the pressure due to the water molecules is greater on the left hand side than the right. And because of this, the water potential is greater on the left than on the right. Going back to our definition, we can see that osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a region of higher water potential to a region of lower water potential through a partially permeable membrane. So as you can see, because there's a higher water potential on the left than the right, water molecules will move by osmosis from the left-hand side to the right-hand side. Now, at some point, both sides of the membrane will have the same water potential. At this point, we've reached equilibrium and osmosis stops. Water molecules will still be moving across the membrane, but the same number of water molecules will be moving in each direction. So the net or overall movement of water molecules will be zero. OK, now there is one other idea you need to understand. Pure water has the highest possible water potential. And that's because pure water has the highest possible concentration of water molecules. Scientists have set the water potential of pure water as zero kilopascals. So this means that the water potential of any solution must be less than zero. In other words, a negative number. And a more concentrated solution has a lower water potential than a less concentrated solution. Now, some students find that idea a bit tricky. I'm showing you here a partially permeable membrane. On the left, we've got pure water, so this has a water potential of zero kilopascals. On the right, we have a glucose solution with a water potential of minus 100 kilopascals. As we've seen, water molecules will move by osmosis from the region with the higher water potential to the region with the lower water potential, like this. Here's another example. We now have two glucose solutions. In this case, the solution on the left has a lower water potential than the solution on the right. So in this case, water will move by osmosis from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. OK, now sometimes in older textbooks, you'll see osmosis described in terms of hypotonic, hypotonic and isotonic solutions. These expressions are no longer used. 
and that's because we now describe osmosis in terms of water potential. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by osmosis in terms of water potential.